Today let's learn about the radiological finding of ankylosing spondylitis. Myself, Dr. Kadir. Look into this x-ray. Why this x-ray is very important? See, there may be so many fascinating signs like squaring of vertebra, bamboo spine and many other in ankylosing spondylitis. But the essential diagnostic feature is actually to demonstrate at sacroiliitis. So, the most important joint that you need to examine is actually sacroiliac joint. And the earliest finding of ankylosing spondylitis is nothing but symmetrical and bilateral sacroiliitis as seen in this picture. Subchondral erosion, sclerosis and proliferation especially on the iliac side of sacroiliac joint is very very common. If you want to see that sclerosis, it's highlighted. Other findings, if this is going to continue, you can classically see enthesopathy. What is enthesopathy? The area of attachments of ligament and tendon into the bone and if those areas going for inflammation, that is what called as enthesopathy or enthesitis. And that will lead to a characteristic whiskering appearance. What is a whisker? A whisker is nothing but a tuft of hair which you can find around the mouth of a lower animals. If this sacroiliitis, if we tend to or if we allow to progress, it will end up with narrowing and fusion of joint as seen in this picture where you cannot find any sacroiliac joint or be with even the hip joints. The bilateral hip joints are again fused. With related to vertebra, why now vertebra is important? See, ankylosing spondylitis is an ascending inflammation. So next to sacroiliac joint, the possibility of affecting the vertebra is very high. And in vertebra, to call it as an ankylosing spondylitis, there must be at least three intervertebral disc space involved, which means at least four vertebra to be affected. And what are all the findings? One of the earliest findings uh, is you can see the characteristic marginal edges of the vertebra showing some shiny appearance or sclerosed appearance. The corners appeared shiny. So such appearance is what called as shiny corner sign. And such lesion of an abnormal sclerosis at the corners of the vertebra, especially surrounding an area of erosion is called as Romanus lesion. Other findings include squaring of vertebra as you all know. This is what called as a typical bamboo spine. If you take a baby bamboo and compare it with the uh, vertebral appearance of an ankylosing spondylitis patient, it characteristically look alike. Another way of describing the same picture is trolley track spine. These trolley tracks you can see very commonly in a shopping mall or in an airport. Because of a vertical syndesmophytes, there can be an appearance of dagger sign. In case of a complicated discitis, because of ankylosing spondylitis, there can be a lesion like this in the vertebral column. That lesion is called as Anderson lesion or Anderson sign. Another important finding in shoulder is called as hatchet sign. See, even in shoulder, because of rotator cuff muscle attachments, it is again a potential area for enthesopathy or enthesitis, leading on to a bony erosion at the muscle attachments. So that is what called as an hatchet sign. This is the hatchet weapon. If you see the corner of the hatchet weapon and this lesion, it looks similar. That's why they named it as hatchet sign. Other findings, if at all there is going to be these vertical syndesmophytes which has gone for a fracture uh, or other pathological fracture, there is a possibility of pseudoarthrosis and any joint for that matter after getting affected with ankylosing spondylitis can show narrowing of space and periarticular erosions. So in summary, there is going to be a sacroiliitis which is an earliest manifestation and there can be an erosion or sclerosis and enthesitis showing whiskering appearance, narrowing to fusion can happen and possibility of pseudoarthrosis, shiny corner sign or Romanus lesion is possible, squaring of vertebra, dagger spine, Anderson lesion, in hip there is a possibility of protrusio acetabuli and in shoulder hatchet deformity. Thank you.